Welcome back to Koromon, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. You know what I realized in the last episode? I was saying Chronomon the whole time, like Chrono Cross and all that, Chrono Trigger. So I need to really emphasize, I meant to say Koromon. Anyways, we're going to just start off where we were last time. And I believe we we're actually just getting away from the lab. And we were supposed to meet up with someone, which is our friend here, actually. I believe so. That's a left. So the rumors, they're true. The new Titan Task Force member? It's you, isn't it? That's right. I'm so happy for you. Let's celebrate with some stink module training. Huh? You don't like the name? Well, I bet you'll love what it can do. Normally this patch of grass over here is full of battle-hungry wild Koromon. But with the stink module, just one zap and boom. All the Koromon go scampering off into the unknown. Here. You seem like this type that learns by experience. Let me install the stink module on your gauntlet. There we go. Easily does it. Stink, even with the emoji there. Jeez. Make sure you're standing in the grass patch when using the stink module. Otherwise, it won't activate. Now, give it a go. Hold your nose and use the secondary action button FC to stink away your heart's content. Alright. There we go. Excellent! I noticed the blinking effect on the grass. That means you're free to wander through this bush without the threat of wild Koromon. And in just 5 minutes, the module's recharge, ready to be used again. Useful, isn't it? It sure is. Well, that's it for today. I'll be in contact when new modules are finished. Have a nice hike and enjoy your tranquility of Hayville. Shine bright. Peace. Alright, so we are good to go here. There is a chest here. I'll grab this nicely. So as you may notice, I'm going to be doing voices for each character I encounter, if I can. We'll see. Greetings, young traveler. I'm the ranger of Radiant Park. If you follow the path north, you'll reach Hayville. Be careful when entering the grass, though. Wild Koromon live here. Here, take these cakes. They will help you to get to Hayville more easily. Pace to talk to people, guys. Don't eat them all by yourself. Koromon cakes are not the same as traditional cakes. To a human, they would taste bitter and chalky. Much like a vitamin. But, the bitter tang of these items is just what Koromon needs to get back into perfect shape. Appreciate it, dude. I see this, don't worry. You got this. They're very generous with these cakes. Alright, is this a trainer? I'm just wondering if we can face a trainer. We only faced, uh, one of the, well, Nelson from the previous episode. Another Silk Quill. Alright, we'll just, uh, normal chops here we will do. This is level 4, so a little bit stronger. Pocket sand. What the? I'm guessing the accuracy, yeah. I guess squad here is to send out our Korom on here. We'll send out this Korom on that we received. Will this do a lot of damage? Oh, no, just a 3 damage. Okay, and I'm assuming slam is the attack ability here. Oh, we're a little bit slower here in this case. That's fine. We're just gonna take him out with this Korom on. There we go. Bye bye. Perfect. Okay, that's what I thought. Shared XP. That's what I assumed at least. Okay. So, moving over here. Another chest. Copy cake. That might be a combination of both, essentially, is what it's saying. Can we move this down? Nope. There's some leaves here that's slightly different. I just started out the battery search gear. Can you help me complete some milestones? Sure. Mira. I just realized my Koromons are not that strong. Hopefully their Koromon is not that strong either. And it's not... Okay, we're good to go. Uh, let's use Bubble Burst. Let's see if this is a lot of damage. Kind of. Claw, let me see. Uh, I think we'll be capable of taking it out with Chiku here. Now one more of those and we'll be fine. I think we're okay. I'm not too concerned about the fact that uh, we have less accuracy. Yeah, doesn't mean anything to me. Alright, so we're gonna be... Oh, that's a lot of XP. Oh my goodness. Turuga. It's a fire Koromon. So, that being said, we gotta use some water moves. But thankfully, we have a water Koromon. But it missed. Of course, the one time that you want to use it, it misses. Perfect. That should do a super effective. Still pretty tanky. Um, 
what I'm going to do is actually send out this one because I think it's good to share our XP if we can. I'm not sure if Powder Bit would pass this attack here. I'm not sure if it's going to hurt a lot. It withstand it. Um, I'm not sure how much a slam will do here. Thankfully, it didn't hit us again. I'm, you never know, a critical hit could be devastating here. Perfect. And that's all she wrote. Right? Level 7, nice. Shoot! I was just one victory away from completing Duelist. And we got some gold. Alright, we need to go to a uh, little area to heal up though. Because we're kind of uh, low. So hopefully the next little area here will be able to heal up. Hayville. Little Scarecrow here. What's up buddy? This guy should get an award. He's outstanding in his field. Ha 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 ha! Good one. Hello there, I'm looking for Amino. If you can find one for me, I'll be willing to trade my Buzzy here for it. It's not potent, but my Buzzy has great potential. Find Amino, okay. Let me find a place to heal up first. There we go. I'll take it. Unless this is like a daycare of some sort. Welcome to the local trainer hub. Would you like me to take care of your Coromon? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. That was quick. Okay. So we're looking for Paradin. I believe this is the person's name. Did you visit the library already? There are so many books in there, but it's so little time to read them all. I'm not much of a book person, so I'll say that with a no. I'm trying to find the folks that would have it here. Can I grab this? Let us not disturb this lettuce. Okay. This game got jokes. Okay, that was. Oh, I guess he's just surprised. Uh, what's this? Noah's teleporter will be operational within two weeks. I guess it's closed. I love gardening, especially growing fruits. These growing pots from Luz Solus make my hobby so much easier. You can find them anywhere and anywhere and can use them. Just plant a fruit whenever you see an empty pot. In return, you can harvest fully grown plants whenever you see one. And the best thing is, you don't even have to water the plant. The pot does it for you. The future is here. Seems like it. I guess we can't go here just yet. Hey, over there, on the other side. I'm sorry, Perrin is still teaching me how to chop down trees. I messed up and this tree fell the wrong way. If only there was someone strong enough to push this out of the way. Well, Perrin is the person we need to talk to. Where can this person be? It's my only question. I think Perrin's up here? Let me see. Yep, there we go. The workshop, perfect. Okay, where are you, Perrin? Are you in here? Teddy bear. Okay, nothing there. Here, there's a little area you can go down here. Hopefully, parents in here, or could have been. I honestly thought I could pick up the axe. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> okay, never mind then. So, parent is off somewhere else. And I'm assuming he will be the one that gives an axe to cut through the wood. My guess, right? You don't look like a parent to me. Are you in here? I know this is Noah's teleporter. Oh, maybe this is Perrin. Oh, my delivery! Huh? What delivery? Oh, I thought you were someone else for a moment. Sorry about that. Name is Noah. I'm working on a teleporter that'll connect Hayville to the fast travel network in Velva. I'm still waiting for the last few parts. I need to complete the teleporter. I had ordered them from the Lux Solus campus a while back. The package should have arrived by now. Oh, perhaps you're willing to help. Could you find out what's keeping my package? Sure, I'll help. Great. I'll order the parts from the market at Lux Solus Campus. Perhaps you can start there. I'll be in my workshop doing the final calibrations. I'll be waiting for you. Not with the person I was looking for. As well as you will notice, I'll be consistently running. I changed up the settings to do that, which is nice. This town is still up and coming. Is there no coral on storage or for a shop for trainers yet? Luckily, the Lux Solos camp is nearby, and once Noah's teleporter is online, we can travel there instantly. For damn sure. I'm still looking for Perrin. He's hiding from me very well. Hmm. Is he behind this Coromon? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Beasel, Beasel. Milestone achieved. Okay, Chico, let's go. Oh gosh, this is a stronger one. Let's go with this first. 
At least we'll endure this attack a little bit. It's probably a poison if we get afflicted by it. So we'll use this to obviously do that. And we'll do one chomp. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too much. Damn, that still does a lot of damage. I'm gonna... Am I poisoned? Oh, from biting it. I might be done here. Because I'm still poisoned, so we'll see how much it does after this. Just two. But I'm gonna have to switch. Uh, Birdie's way too low. In terms of levels, the Beezle has over six levels on it. I should be okay, I think, here. Let's see what I can do. Uh, what's this do? Find the weak spot of your opponent. The next attack on the target does 2.5 times damage, but cannot be a critical hit. Well, clearly that won't help right now, because I think next time it hits me, I'm pretty gone for, actually. Oh my gosh. Will this be enough damage? No. Um... I have an idea. We'll restore. Or so Chico. Because I'm going to go down here. So. Sorry, Powder Pit. You have been amazing. We got to use our little friend here. Uh, and use Bubble Burst again. Thankfully, this won't do as much damage. I kind of wish they used the other ability because this only does 2 HP. Where the other one would be a little bit more. I think I need one more of those. So we're good. I think we can do this with this ability. Rage. I think it's going to build up for the next attack. That's my guess. Or attack will increase instead. There we go. I'll take it. 127. Wow. I wasn't sure if we can capture that one. But I think we could have. Waken some sort of its potential. Okay, here. Again, I'm going to move up attack and... Possibly defense. I'll do defense twice. There we go. I think that's where Perrin is. It's behind the Beezle. I sure hope so, at least. It is perfectly. Whew, thanks for that. I thought it was a goner. I was just working on this fence, and then suddenly the bad Beezle sneak up on me. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. I'm glad I could help. Since you were working on that fence, are you by any chance that blacksmith Perrin? One and only. There's no better blacksmith around. But who's asking? My name is SLF. I was sent by Regal to find you. Oh, I have an essence collector installed, I presume. All right, let's get to it then. Come, let's go to me workshop. Let's. All right, what you got here for me? Here we are. Welcome to my workshop, SLF. Wow, from the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. I, I sure am. I've been making spinners almost day and night for the last few weeks. I'm one of the few people working for Lucius that are skilled enough to make spinners. So hey, I've been working hard, but I can help you with your gauntlet. Quite familiar with Lucius technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a module. Thanks. Here's my gauntlet, and here's the module. Okay, we lost the gauntlet, and we lost the collector. Thank ya. And here, meanwhile, you can use the spare gauntlet. What is this one? It's a blue one. Is there anything special about it? Thanks. Right, I better get to it then. Oi! While I work on your gauntlet, why don't you get a visit to the library? You can pick up some handy handbooks there. Which will surely help you in your adventure. You can ask me little brother. He's a real bookworm, that feller. So he'll know where to find the books. Come back once you read them all. I'm sure it'll be done by then. That sounds helpful. I'll go check out the library. Hi, and I better get started then. Man, I need to find some better voices for these characters. Oh man, hopefully you guys are doing well today. We went straight to the game, didn't get a chance to talk, and there's always dialogue, so there's no voiceover, obviously. So hopefully everyone that's watching this is doing well and enjoying their day. Let's grab this chest here, Stinky Scent. I'm guessing that might be something that we can use instead of replenishing for the last five minutes. Do you think this is the guy? There are so many interesting books here. I can't decide which book I want to read next. Maybe the person's upstairs. Hmm. Are you the person? Hmm. Hello there. Wait, is this the same person from the train? Huh? Do you want something? Yes, Perrin told me I could find books for beginning trainers here. Do you know where I could find them? 
Ah, my brother Perrin, huh? Hmm. He doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading all these books, says I could contribute to the town. Instead, he's working on his anvil all day. Now, what does he do? In reality, the pen is mightier than the sword, right? Um, I guess so. Ah, a fellow book lover. It seems I've misjudged you. Here, let me help you get some books. For a bio researchers, you said? I know just the ones. Hmm, yes, this one. Ah! Are you getting my books? One more over here. Coromon Basics. No, this book is too basic. But it could be handy for someone else, perhaps. Yes, this one's the last one. If you read all these books, you'll know everything a Coromon trainer should know. Perhaps you'll be even able to pass Jibiha's quiz. He likes to think he's the smartest, so he challenges others to a battle of wits. Hmm, he often hangs around this reading room. Huh, well, here you go. Trainer book. Okay, so we have five, I think. Three, four, five. Oh, never mind. That's a lot of reading material. Study well, and you'll become a Koromon trainer. That's not to be trifled with. Keep an eye for other books that might be useful for you. Um, and then I'll send you a message to let you know. Okay, um, bye now. All right, what we can do. I can read the books nearby Perrin. That way we can read the books, talk to Perrin, and he should be done. This is a Beezle. Oh, please don't attack me. Okay, thank gosh. I was gonna say, I'm not prepared. Um, how do I check my... There we go. Okay. Uh, we're fine. I'm gonna heal up actually quickly. I didn't realize one of my Koromon was poisoned. Sure, what is it? Um, well ago, a passing trainer left this lot of swarmy on your care. But they become very aggressive, and when they evolve into Beezle, they just flew right at you on your yard. You might have seen some of them already around town. They're a menace in the village, and I feel irresponsible. They even intrude in people's homes. Since you're the only trainer in town at the moment, can you get rid of all six of them for me? Okay, leave it to me. Thank you. Please return to me when you have taken care of them. Well, first can I heal up though, right? That's my plan. I might do it, I might not, folks. My plan is to actually stick to the main mission. I'll do the size stuff maybe a little bit later. I guess that reflects back to that Koromon that's sitting there. But moving forward with what I wanted to do, I'm going to go here and uh, quickly read the items that he gave us. I think it's under here. Let's use this one. Trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty. Yes, we know about this. I think this is actually one where you don't have to read. This one many years ago when I first traveled to Velva, I was assigned by the many climates. Okay. I'm not going to read all these. There seems there's 114 unique specimens during my expedition. Okay, type of skills. I've discovered six of them. Alright, there's different types as well. Okay, this is become professional. I think this is just kind of gives you an idea of what's the end goal if you want to. Here's the talking about XP. Some rules you have to take care of. Perfect. You only allowed six at a time. Makes sense. And here's about the statistics. And here is about the potential. I think this is about experience points, leveling up, evolving. That's my guess, at least. All right. That's all of them. Perfect. Let's go on. That's the left. There you are. I just finished your garland. The essence collector is installed and ready to go. I'll take back that spare gauntlet first. Here you go, buddy. I've installed another module as well for ye. The push module. Considered a gift from a friend. Here you go. Your upgraded gauntlet. Thank you. That's awfully nice. Push. You think that's for pushing the wood out or the logs? Possibly. Thank you so much. What's that push module you mentioned? Oh. You can upgrade your gauntlet with a number of modules. The one I installed now gives you the strength of a blacksmith. You'll be able to push anything out of your way, like logs and loose rocks. Just press the secondary action button to activate your currently selected module. You can also hold down that same button to different modules. Now, why don't you try that push module in the backyard? There's some logs you can push around. Thanks, I'll give it a go and try out the push module. And I'll check in with Noah as well. Right, see ya! Yeah, I don't know. Some of the voices I'm definitely going to be 
missing out a couple of times. So here we have to push. I do this. Awesome! I guess it's a little puzzle. I can push this. And I'm right to the chest. Plane spinner. It's one of the Beezles I need to take care of. I think it's called Beezle. Beezle or something like that. I'm not sure. Alright. Noah. A lot of games do throw a lot of names at you and you have to kind of keep track of who's who. And sometimes I tend to forget, so hopefully... No one's here, right? Yeah, okay. So he's actually the teleporter folk here. He should be here. Noah? If only I had the parts! Then the teleporter would be fully operational already. It seems to be missing some parts. What have you been missing? Do I push something? I probably don't push them, right? Well, if I'm missing some parts, what I have to do first off is actually push that log out. If I can, I am not sure if I need to, unless the person is in my way and I can't push it with them there. We'll test it out. So, there we go. He's like, whoa. Whoa, well, thank you so much for that. The road is finally clear again. I better get back to parents for some more tree cutting practice. See you. Peace out. All right. Um, do I go here just yet or no? Woodlow Forest. Um, let me just quickly check my logbook. Um, so I'm here. These are like my missions. Broken teleporter. Noah's package got lost. I should ask the shopkeeper at Los Solos Campus about it. Thank gosh I looked at this before leaving, because now I actually have to head the opposite way. My mistake. Okay. I'm glad there's actually a logbook. Some games don't tell you anything, you just have to remember based on memory. In this case, we just have to refer back to our previous steps in this game. Which, if I'm not mistaken, should be over here, so it shouldn't take too long. There's actually no problems between us getting there from here. There's a couple little areas we can skip now. You'll notice that as we get closer to it, watch this. I can actually push this now with the new ability. Boom. Grab this chest here. Probably more cakes. Toxic scent. Protein scent. Charge scent. Oh, okay. That's probably stuff you can put on your Coromon, right? So you can skip through here, for example. Actually, that's a loose rock. I'm going to try to test that out next time I'm there. We're good so far. So far, so good. I could have used the gas, but... It gives us an opportunity to fight more creatures. Coromon, I should say, actually. Probably a fire creature. Oh, I keep saying creature, sorry. A fire Coromon. You can see the flames behind this sucker, so... Super effective, right? Super effective, That's it's very effective instead. And speed decrease. I'm actually, I captured this. I believe our friend that wants to trade us a, a Coromon. He wants to trade with a Mino. Um, or a Minnow, I'm not sure how you pronounce that thing, so... Let's see. Yep. It was caught. Nope. For this one in particular, I'm not gonna nickname it since we're gonna be trading it. So hopefully I'm not mistaken with it. I'm sure we can find someone to uh, change nicknames if we want to. So I'm not too concerned if we can't change the nickname now. Oh, that was really fast. Whoa. A Swirmy? A Swirmy? I'm guessing it's a little bit hard to bite down. It looks like it's made of metal or something. That's a critical hit. Bye-bye. Okay. I didn't know that you can counter Koromon so fast. Alright, I guess it's uh, from all the times we skipped into Koromons, they made it difficult to escape these ones because I guess we got lucky in a few places that we were able to dodge Koromons. Anyways, this is free experience, right? We can't complain too much in this type of game. And actually what I'm going to do here is actually change squad to birdie. Send it out. Hopefully birdie can withstand two hits if possible and take up the final blow. Oh, look at that. Demon attack. Perfect. Birdie, do your worst. Or will this take me out? It will take me out. Never mind. <laughs> Birdie's really weak, apparently. Extremely weak. 
if you can't even withstand a hit. This should be fine though. This should actually take him out. And nice knowing you. There we go. And we level up. Level 7. Perfect. Alright. Oh, Birdie still levels up even though fainted. We learned something new. I actually did not know about that. Alright. We actually can move freely now. Um, and we have to be here, right? R&D lab. No, we have to go back to... To... Uh, we have to actually go back further down, I believe. Not the research and development lab. Yeah, here at the campus. Perfect. I'm assuming... Oh, actually didn't even notice the chest there. Let me grab this quickly. Thank you. I'll take the free cake. And this, I guess the teleporter will take us here if we ever want to. Right here. But before I do that, let me actually double check on my... Coromon's health, okay. I guess when you level up, you actually restore all your health. I thought you'd restore a little bit, but that's fine. The screen updates whenever you, one of your battle researchers achieves a milestone. The volume of data we obtain is mind-boggling. I guess that's the voice I went with for that person. Kind of hard in the voice, but I actually have to go there, right? I don't know why it didn't go back in there. I think I have to go to the floor below, right? All right, so let's just quickly go here and just heal up. Please and thank you. We have four Coromons. That is crazy. We had two actually in the beginning and already got two more, which is insane to me at least. Do I have to go here? Okay, that's the battleground. I don't need to go to the battleground. I need to go straight back to the lab here. I think it's one floor under. Hopefully it is. All right. Hello, hello. Is this Nelson? It is Nelson. Hello, Solef. How are you and your Coromon doing? I hope you get along with them. Sorry, clearly I have absolutely no clue where to go yet. Package got lost. I should ask the shopkeeper. Well, ain't that something, folks. I should definitely double check on what I said. Shopkeeper. I don't know, it's not even that late right now, it's not even 8 o'clock and I'm tired. Jeez, okay. Let's go straight to the shopkeeper then. Alright, the shopkeeper should be right here. Hello, package for Noah. Welcome, how can I help you? Hello, I'm SLF, Noah sent me here. He said he ordered a package from you, but it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot about it. But just a little while ago, I sent it. The package didn't have to go far. It should have arrived by now. If it hasn't been delivered yet, then the package must be somewhere between here and Hayville. I can't leave this market unattended, but perhaps you can look around the Radiant Park? Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for your help. Again, any voice that comes to my mind, I'm recycling some, but any voice that comes to my mind, I just use it. Hopefully none of these actually like hurts my throat over the time I'm saying them, but I should be okay. So we have to go back to Radium Park, which is here. Package should be around here somewhere. Package, you will see a package when we do. It could be on this road here. It'd be more likely on this road than anything else, right? Armadillo, Armado. Seems like a tough looking Coromon, right? If I press the right button here, there we go. Should take him out, I think. Given that the Coromon's very weak. Oh, wow. <laughs> It'd be very wise to capture this one, but I think because of how low it is, I'm just gonna take it out here. Move forward. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I'm gonna show every single one of these fights. In case you do wanna see them, you can let me know. I might have just show some of them and not all of them because it could take a long time. Oh, there is a cop here. It might be different here. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I startled you. I thought a wild Coromon jumped at me. Coromon? They only jump at you when you walk through grass. Don't have your own Coromon to battle them? Yes, I do. But I forgot to bring any healing cakes for them. Now my entire squad is fainted. Can't go through the grass anymore. I'm trapped here. Now I'll never be able to deliver this package. There we go. Do you mean the package meant for Noah? Yes, I'll never get there while I'm, my Coromon are fainted. Oh, I'm so stupid. 
Hmm. I can escort you through the grass so you can get to the trainer hub in Hayville. Really? You would do that for me? Thank you so much. Okay, lead the way. Look at that. Everything worked out for the best. Let's see if I can get there without encountering a Koromon. Except these Koromons are probably like less than level 5. This one is actually the highest I've seen it in a while. But a chomp here, a bubble there. I don't know how you guys play this. Do you guys run through a squad in order to level them up? Or do you just focus with one Koromon? Or does it... It all depends on the circumstances. If your main Koro is weak or if you want to switch it up or... I don't know. Personally, I like to level them all up equally. Obviously, you're going to have one that might be stronger than the rest, but like it's your go-to, right? But for me, I want to make sure I get some Koromons that are... I guess you can say that there are different elements to them. Meaning like once fire, water, ice. Just so if a Koromon comes out, I can be effective and use the strong spells or abilities, I would say, for them. I think I can use this on loose rocks. I guess not these things. It looked like a loose rock, but I guess uh, we'll, we'll know it when we see it. Oh, I made it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But what about the package? Oh, yes. Well, I'm quite behind my schedule now. Just give it to me. Perhaps you could deliver the package to Noah for me? That way I can catch up my other deliveries. I can do that. Oh, great. Here's the package. Got Noah's package. Got a question? What's up? Huh? What is this in my pocket? Ruxley call? I had this with me this whole time? Oh my gosh. Oh, will you just look at the time? Time to go. Thanks again. Now hey, you're welcome. And then he disappears. What a freaking guy. Okay then. What can you do? At least we got the package. I mean, he just flew. So he's out. Here we go straight to Noah. So just a little bit further down here. And he's going to be right here deliver the package and then we can use the teleporter at least that's my guess hopefully that's actually the right guess i want to use a teleporter that's all left there you are do you have any news i do the shopkeeper just sent me the package but the delivery man got delayed in radium park oh what happened you've got healing cakes so his entire squad fainted <laughs> beginner's error what happened to my package i took over for him i got the package right here there you go Oh, thank you. This is great. With all these parts, I'll get the machine up and running. No time. I'll get right to it. It took long enough already. All right, what's up? A couple of tweaks here and there, I bet. Boom, boom, boom. Working hard. There it is. That's it. All the parts are finally installed. Now for some final calibrations. And done. It should be fully operational now. Tell me, Hellasef, have you ever used a teleporter before? No help. Most towns have a trainer hub with a teleporter so you can travel there quickly. Now that you can travel the teleporter your gauntlet has synchronized with, this happens automatically when you visit a town in which a teleporter is located. Now, thanks to you, trainers can travel to and from our little village. Why don't you try it out? You should be able to travel between here and Lux Solis campus. This is true. We did see one actually. And Lux Solis campus is right here. Let's go. It's probably just a quick snap of the finger and I'm already gone. And then I'm here. Easy. Look at this guy. He's like, whoa, what's up? I guess we just go back, right? There's no other reason to be here. There's all these side quests as well. I was thinking about doing one or two, but I, I don't know. You let me know down in the comments if I should do them. I'll be more than happy to do it for you folks. Valve is in your debt. Thanks to you. Everyone can travel to and from Haveville with ease. This is true. Okay, now what though? Let's look at our logbook here, shall we? We did find Amino. I might actually do that right now, actually. Yeah, why not? Let's go there. So our quest is complete. Um, we still need to go to that essence, the Titan. With that being said, I'm actually gonna quickly see Perrin real quick, because he did mention to see Noah, which we just did. Now we can go see Perrin, because he brought us to Noah. I'm not sure if he needs this for anything else. I have so many spinners left to make. I guess I won't be sleeping anytime soon. Well, there goes my... my guess. 
But since we have Mino, thank goodness I remember that correctly. Now I can ask him. So, did you find a Mino to trade for my Buzzy? Sure did. Here you go. Oh, that is such an adorable Mino. I'll gladly trade for Buzzy for it. I'll get another one. Don't worry. And we got a Buzzy. Let's go. Thank you. Take care of my Buzzy. Of course, Buzzy is in good hands. Awesome. I'll have to train my new Mino in Radium Park. Perhaps we'll meet again. There you go. Sick, we got a, we got ourselves a Buzzy. Oh my gosh. That's a strong Buzzy. Level 8? Holy moly. Okay, so... I don't want to call it a video yet. I kind of want to figure out our next destination. Our next destination, in my assumption, is going here. Because now we cleared the path. Let's fight this trainer. Look at me. Hey, you're a trainer, I see. Then you'll come to the right place. This forest is filled with trainers looking for a challenge. You look strong, so that won't be a problem, right? You can recognize other trainers by their gauntlet. If someone has one, they're probably a trainer that wants a Koromon battle. If they prove to be a challenge, consider enable the easy battle settings. This will enable you to send out a different Koromon when you defeat an opponent's Koromon. Oh, I see. You can see the, like for example, this guy has a gauntlet in his left hand, or left wrist, I should say. Oh, I see. This is the same format as the other game. I came here to train my Koromon. Let's help each other out. Voices, I don't know where they're coming from. I'm just shooting them out as I talk. This music's a little bumping right now. Duh, 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 duh. Alright, fast strike. I guess that's quick attack, I guess you can say. Alright, so we're gonna go quickly for the bubble burst. Shouldn't hurt as much. I should have healed up before going out. Rookie mistake, but. This is why we have ourselves a Buzzy. I'll gladly send that lovely Buzzy. These things are super annoying to face off against. And if I'm not mistaken, Poison Ability does a lot of damage to the flying type that I have. So maybe, if I'm not mistaken, let's see if this one does a lot of damage. It just likes to use that ability a lot. Let's see if this does a lot of damage. It does work actually. One more time. So that was a lot of damage to that move though. There you go. It has two Koromon, so I need to be careful for the next one here. Maybe it's something stronger, maybe it's something weaker. Sometimes uh, trainers like to leave the last to the strongest one, but who knows. Um, here, I'll use Slam. Doesn't do as much damage, you can tell. And that does somewhat damage. Powder Pit. Let's go. I think we should be fine though, I'm not concerned. I think <laughs> I'm not concerned just yet though. Here I'll just use Slam. Although I don't think Slam does a lot of damage. I think this is a Koromon that's a little bit more tanky. So we'll see if this does a lot of damage. Eh, it does something. Uh, let's try again, why not? This is gonna hurt. Oh, okay, the next time it hits me it's gonna hurt a lot. Because it has a critical chance and that's the second time I used it. What I'm gonna do actually. I'm going to sacrifice Birdie. If it ends up using an attack, this one. It might take out Birdie here though. Let's see. Oh, okay. My, my idea was not right, but we'll, we'll take... Birdie will go down here, but it's fine. See? So it was a critical hit. Uh, so I'm really happy I did do that. This is a Koromon that's not to be messed with. It does a lot of damage. Is this not a critical hit? It is another critical hit too. Wow. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, I didn't mean to use that ability. That's fine. Feelers. Is this damage, though? Okay, found a weak spot, but that's not what I want to do. Oh, well. Take one for the team. If it falls, it falls. If it takes this attack and stays... Okay, nope. It's another critical hit. But, since this game allows you to get experience, even though if your Koromon does fall, it's not a big deal, so... I'm okay with this. And it's fainted. Good night and goodbye. Level 9. Sick. Do we get a new ability? Powder Bit. Buzzy. Birdie. Birdie has weakened potential. Birdie is really weak, so I'm gonna go here a couple times. But Birdie is low level as well. A pocket sand. Drop some leftover sand in the target's face. Decrease accuracy for one stage. I've grown so much stronger. 
you have. If you had two Koromon and took me out pretty fast, okay. What I'm gonna do is quickly just heal up. I'll be right back, folks. Right back. And we're back. I do notice the time though, so what I'm gonna actually do is call it a video here. I do greatly appreciate everyone that sticks around with me. And I know this is a longer video than the last one, but I do appreciate those who have made it to this point. What I'll do is I'll leave actually the video of Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. I did do a whole series on that. It was a while back, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a little video there for you guys. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Take care and stay classy, folks. Bye now.